Yes, sir! Your boy is back with some more NHL 21. Be a pro on a PS5. Listen, it is year four. It is round one. And it is time for the elimination games. The series is 3-2 to two in favor of my New York Rangers. So today we're playing games five and, or game six. And should we be needing to, we're going to play game seven also. So, elimination night is tonight. Let's see if we can uh, beat the Panthers in game six here. Because I do not want to go to a winner-takes-all game seven. Because we all know what, what kind of shenaniganery can happen in a game seven. Now, it is a road game, so I don't get to play two periods. However, I feel like playing only one period is a little bit short, so I will meet everybody halfway in the middle, and we're going to just simulate half of the second period and see where we're at after that. So, after one period of sim, boom, it is one-to-one. -one. Philip Heedle scoring for the boys, so we're going to intervene here halfway through this second period of simulation. It looks like we're going to have a one-to-one -one score. No, it is a two-to-one score. Let's go. Braden Shen, love to see it. We're going to have... Make sure that we're past the halfway point there you go okay so we're gonna play half of game six and see if we can eliminate the florida panthers with uh with uh their their alternate not their alternate their reverse retro jerseys because that thing is beautiful excuse you we are on the bed oh that makes sense okay because we're not starting the period i was gonna say <laughs> we're coming out of the sim sitting on the bench and i was furious i was like well how come we're not starting the period how come the first line's not starting the period are we on the second line no dumb shit you're not starting a period so <laughs> that's why that's why we're on the bench but here we go with a two to one advantage against the Panthers. It's been a pretty close series to this point. It's been tough to score on the Panthers. Admittedly, we've kind of been shut down at times, but then at other times, once we do get through that line of defense, and once we do get one or two by Sergei Bobrovsky, it seems to, scoring seems to come a little bit easier at that point for the Rangers, but so far, so far, only a 2-1 to one lead, so we got to get that 3-1 to one score is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Offensive zone face off. My man, Philip Heedle, if you could win it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to lose the face off, and we're going to four check. Yes, sir, on that. Mm, that poke. Almost getting that puck back. Almost don't count, though. Nice shot. That was a good play by the Panthers coming right down the ice off of that face-off play and getting a good chance. So let's see if we can just get up the ice and do what we do and just answer back with some more offense of our own. Yes, sir. Boom. To the middle. Not quite working, but Heedle makes it work by himself because he's a grown man and he could not go all the way to the cup, though. Okay, so I didn't account for the fact that we would sit for an extra two and a half minutes once I intervene. So it turns out we're not we're not really going to play that much in the second period. So if, if you were upset with me playing a period and a half as opposed to just one period, which is the rule that we have for road games, then uh, then don't be don't be alarmed, okay? We're not going to get to play that much time here. This is going to be pretty much our last shift. Oh, what a shift it is, though, as Sturkin makes a wonderful pad save, keeping us ahead by one. Can I go between the... Oh, oh, four hit. I can't. I can't get it to her. Okay. That was... Mm, that was so close. We almost had it. Poke check. Oh, look at this. Look at this puck battle. Look at this playoff hockey ass. I did not want to go to the bench. I wanted to keep fighting for that puck, but <laughs> the game the game made me go to the bench. Okay. Like I said, it's pretty much going to be our last shift of the second period. Oh, no. We're going to get another 45 seconds. Bet. Let's get out there and do some damage. You know what I'm saying? It seems like the Panthers are kind of dominating us late in the period, though. Which is not ideal, but whatever it is, what it is, we're going to go and skirt, skirt to the left. We're going to come back to the right. We're going to drop it to our teammate. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but it is what happened. So we're going to wait, bait them, and I baited them a little bit too much. They ended up getting the puck back. That's my bad. I was about to pass it to whoever was on the right of me, and it just didn't work. I waited too long. Like I said, that's a good poke check, though. We might be gone once again. We are not, as we had to delay a little bit. E, that's a nice hit. I'm going to get the puck back, though. Kick it down low to make sure it doesn't come back in our defensive end. And that's the end of 40 minutes of play. The Rangers up 2-1 to one and out shooting the Panthers by a lot. 35. Oh, my goodness. To 19. That is an ass kicking. And Bobrovsky is just keeping them in it. So now we are 20 minutes away 
Let's not get goalied here in game six. That would be awful if we were to go out that way. Well, not go out, but lose that way because we definitely deserve a two-goal lead. We don't have it. So let's get out there, get in the third period, and get the two-goal lead, okay? It's not about what you deserve. It's about what you can get. So let's fucking go and grab it by the horns and make sure that we don't lose this game. We don't get goal lead. Poke check that away before anything bad happens. That qualifies as bad. But Chesterkin is in there making that save. There's another one. He's going to hold on to that. Good. And, man, today is the day. The NHL is finally getting back underway. Games are counting tonight. They are counting. There's no more scrimmages. None of that shenaniganery. There are five NHL games on the schedule, including my Oilers and including my Leafs. So it's huge. Okay, it's a great, great lineup of games. And I think, I think they have the... Don't quote me on this because I don't know for sure, but I think the Pens are playing the Flyers as well, which is going to be a pretty darn good game. But, man, Oilers and that Canadian division is going to be so fun this season, and I can't wait for the first two games of it, honestly. Oh, my God, we are getting our ass kicked down low, though. We need to get this puck back. This is a bad start to the third period. We cannot hold on to a one-goal lead if we're going to be playing like this. We're going to let that shot through, though. And I just wanted to make sure that our goaltender was not screened any more than he already was. Because I needed to, I wasn't going to block that shot, so I didn't try to challenge that. I would rather they take outside shots and just take our chances with that than let them work down low. We're not going to forecheck too, too hard because we don't want to give them any sort of rush chances. But we don't want to be too passive either and just flat out give them our zone. So it's a, it's a fine balance that we're going to have to find here if we want to close out game six. Get it up, please. Thank you. That's a good play up the ice. I'm just going to shield that puck away. Grab it. Just skate with it. A little bit. I'm going to hook back at the point because he's open. There you go. That's a good passing play. And it's going to be a stopped by Bobrovsky. I'm going to go to the net. I was looking for that rebound. Not going to lie. If he shot that low, anywhere low, I was pouncing on that like a freaking hyena on hamburger, okay? And the third pair, just like that, is almost getting to the halfway point. I feel like the first line is just not getting as much time as we usually do. Okay, let's just hook back. Man, all right. We just got, we just got our ass kicked by Ekblad, I think that was... That, I mean, he is a great defenseman, so I if there's anyone that's going to shut us down defensively, Aaron Ekblad is in that category. But it's not not to worry, though. We got the puck back. Let's get it. Uh, open ourselves up for that pass. Yes, and then boom. Pass it all the way to the right side. Panarin has a lane. He passes it to me, though, and I'm going to dart that. Unfortunately, I missed the net, and that's a great stick lift. Man, the Panthers' defense is no freaking joke. I keep telling y'all they're playing that good D. Y'all think I'm joking. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They are actually very good at this. They can't score for shit, though, at least up to this point as we keep them off the scoreboard once again. We keep them off our goalie this time. We're going to spin around. That's a trip. You can't do that. And the Rangers are going to have a five-on-four men advantage for two minutes or less. Let's hope it's less because we need that two-goal lead. Second unit doesn't get it done, but as Kako gets to the bench, I'm going to get onto the ice. Let's freaking get it, and Shesterkin's going to hold onto the puck. Okay, that's fine. We're going to have defensive zone face off. Not the ideal start to a power play, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, we're on the right side because we're on the right. All right, I, that keeps throwing me off. That It really does, but it's okay. We got the puck back. We're going to we're gonna dump that in because I was about to turn that over. That's man, the defender that was right behind me was catching up to me. Oh, oh, Panay, look. No! Why did you shoot that? Man, I went far post. That was a tappy tap in. And that was gonna be a huge Gino, but we can't, we can't, we can't send me that puck. It's all it's all well and fine though. Your boy and Panarin are still one and two in points throughout the entire playoffs. So you know what I'm saying? We're doing our job. Now, uh, it's gonna be a tie-up face-off. We're gonna win it. I'm gonna rotate back at the point to make sure we do have two guys back there. Because the last thing we want is to be overly aggressive and allow a shorthanded goal. That would be absolutely awful. Give me this. I'm going to have to. Yeah, I I knew I was going to have to delay. I just waited for a teammate to do something. Did I draw one? I think I drew one. There's going to be a trip. Oh, never mind. We took one. Okay. That sucks, but it's going to be 4-on-4. Four four. And we're pretty decent at 4-on-4. Four four. The only problem is we're going to need to take advantage of this situation before it turns into a 4-on-5. And the Panthers have a man advantage. Book check. Can't do that. Cannot do that. Oh, the one-timer. It's going to be blocked by Tony D. Let's get it. We are sending a pretty offensive unit here for for this four-on-four four chance. Okay. Let's just hope it doesn't bite us in the ass when the Panthers do eventually get their man back. I'm going to I'm gonna be camping here. Oh, oh, that's a great play to keep their back to me. Okay. Get it up the ice. Yes, good stuff. 
Let's cross. Yes, with our line mate. That was awful. Okay, that did not work out nearly as I thought it would. I'm going to get this puck, though. And Ekblad again is skating and shutting my ass down. I was trying to pass it to Ellis, but I kind of messed that up. Missed him. Ended up getting sucked into somebody else. Yo, middle, please. Okay. It, it, I don't know why. I wanted the puck first, not the, the not with the second pass. It's okay. Here comes Stammer. I'm not changing because that is Steven Stam. Coase, and he's going to make a play for his teammate. They score. Their captain is on the board, and Barkov ties the game. God damn it. We had it. We had it, but we're going to allow a late one. All right, well, game six, five minutes left, and it's an even game. So it's gonna be it's gonna be one of them tough ones. Barkov is trying to just just one man army this shit, but we're not gonna let him do that. I swear to God, bro, if if these hookbacks cost us this game, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Heedle, to me though, I'm gonna chip that in to the corner and then get right by. Let's go up to the point. I'm gonna get it back and then back to Ellis again. Wonderful passing play and we score. We take the lead once again. Monami, Artemi. Getting it done for the Rangers, and it's 3-2. to two. Let's freaking go. There's about five minutes left. What a pass. Just went back at Ryan Ellis, back to Hedl, and into Pederen right out in front. That was that was just beautiful. Just great passing by this entire first unit. Man, I told y'all. I told y'all when Ryan Ellis came here that that was going to be a game changer for us because not only is he, you know, he, can he get it done defensively and improve our defense score, it was also somebody that could actually provide some offense from back there. Not crazy amounts of offense, but some offense. And we just got it right there at a clutch time, too, because Ellis Ellis been around the corner once or twice. You feel me? So he's been, he's seen this shit before. And unfortunately, I'm going to turn the puck over here because I was kind of crowded. That blue line. Here comes that. Ta and he's going to get gloved away by Igor as he shuts the door late. And we have, oh, 415 left in the game. 221. Okay, so I, we didn't sit as much or as long as I thought we would. But now we have a one goal lead to defend. Let's get out here and do our job. Right side. Oh, just skate it. Just skate it, Panarin. Get, you got that speed. You got the speed on him. I'm going to go left side. He doesn't pass it. Oh, I thought I thought I was about to get a huge one-timer. But it's okay. Let's go back defensively. Good stuff. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not at the point. That's my man. I'm going to defend him. And the center is being defended pretty well. There you go. Look at us. We're actually having a really good defensive shift right now. Nobody's open. They're trying their hardest to pass it around. It doesn't work. And when it does, we eventually just block the shot. Let's go. Ryan Ellis, he's going to pinch. I'm going to come back defensively because I want to be the man back there. I do not want one of my forward teammates to be the one covering for Ryan Ellis. I want to be the man with that job. I'm going to see if I can go in down low so that they can chip it to me. It doesn't work. It's okay. Oh, he's going to change. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to pick up that spot then. And it's an easy stop-ish for Igor Shesterkin. And now, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this because this is game six. It's a minute left. I feel like it's cheap to just simulate it. So we're going to watch it. The shot off the face-off is stopped by Igor. And they get the puck back. They're going to try to tuck it in on him. It doesn't work. But they retrieve it from the corner. The one-timer scores! Oh! Last minute of the third period. And the Panthers tie the game. Are you kidding me? Eric Halla off the post and in. It's 3-3. Three to three. And Halla had way too much time down the middle. Look at that. He had enough time to gather it. That wasn't he. I thought he was going to one-time it. I mean, he didn't really one-time it. He kind of settled it down. Oh, but now we have 52 seconds left. And, oh, we're going to draw a penalty late. 16 seconds left. Can the Rangers do it with an offensive zone face-off? Five-on-four man advantage. Late in game six. I'm going to pick up the puck. Let's be patient-ish, because we can afford to be. Okay, 16 seconds is not... It's not an eternity, but it's long enough to make a play. Oh, I thought we did. I thought we crossed it to Panarin for a huge game winner. But that's a quick glove save by Bobrovsky to keep the game even. Do we have time? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to hope. We're going to play it like we do, and we lose the face-off. And that's going to send us to overtime. We did have time. Should we have won that but all right ot in game six next goal wins we either eliminate the panthers or we go to game seven that that is uh some rough stuff they caught up quick in shots too they had a great third period but we have a man advantage to start the third or er, to start overtime 
That's what we need. Let's just take advantage of it. Let's go home. Let's fly home and get ready for the next series. Boom. Right side. Your boy. Gotta go. Between your legs. Panera. Oh, he tripped me. I was sending that to Breadman, and he was scoring. He was ending this freaking series right here, right now. Aaron Ekblad taking, taking one right here, but that's the case of a good penalty. I mean, it's not good that he got absolutely decapitated by my move, but I'm just saying it's a good decision. Up, once you're in that situation, it was a good one because that was going to be a goal. All right, Heedle, do what you could do. Yes, sir. Big face off win. Panarin, one-timer, rebound, scores! Philip Heedle and the Rangers advance to round two in overtime. Game six. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. That was that was a little a little scary. Okay, they, they made a comeback late, and I thought EA was gonna EA us out of this, but nope. No, it's hard. We don't even need to go back to Madison Square Garden. Game six is all we needed. And there you go. We're gonna shake hands with my boy Alexander Barkov. And that is that we are gone to the second round i don't know who's gonna be meeting us in round two but we're about to find out because i can't let y'all i can't let y'all know just from the timestamp that we scored on this power play you feel me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out who we got in round two and we're gonna go through their roster that's what we're gonna do just in a good name of making it unpredictable for y'all so we have a 41 to 35 total shots which is it, it looks good as a total shot stat but when you realize that it was what was it 35 to 19 at some point they caught up they caught up real good and they put a lot of pressure on us but you know what good teams find a way and we found a way man big huge jobs but game six for the rangers let's get it back in the locker room ya boys making it happen let's see what we got for a game recap we had i don't know if we had any points Honestly, I, did we have any point? Yeah, we had one point. One huge, massive point. And you know what? We drew the penalty that ended up making it a five on three that eventually gave us that W. So I'm going to go ahead and take credit for that. You best believe I'm taking credit for that. Second round is against the Washington Capitals. Let's go. Rangers and Caps? I'm here for it. Are you here for it? I'm fucking here for it. Let's go. Let's look at the stats, Central. Let's figure out what the rest of the playoff tree is looking like. We got, oh, the Leafs and the, oh, that's huge. The Leafs and the Sabres in round two of the playoffs. That is wild. Ottawa got their ass kicked by the Sabres, though. That's, I, as much as I wanted to face Ottawa, I like this. Toronto versus Buffalo, hell yeah. And then the Avalanche, I, I told, I told y'all they would win that series. Did I not say verbatim that they would kick the ass out of the Arizona Coyotes? 4-1. Thanks for coming. Second round. All right. Colorado. Dallas. That's huge. And Vancouver versus Los Angeles. Really? LA beat the Oilers? Really? Ah. All right. Six games as well. Whatever. It's going to be LA versus Vancouver. So that's, a, that's another pretty good... Little bit of a rivalry throwback series there for 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 y'all that watched the early 2010s. Okay, when Vancouver still had that Sedin run going on, going strong, they had a couple of meetings, them and the LA Kings. So it's looking like a really good second round. I'm not gonna lie. Other than other than Colorado Dallas, which might be very boring because that's how that's how Dallas plays. But other than that, I feel like every series here is gonna be absolutely massive. So. Let's go see what the Washington Capitals have in store for us on their lineup. Boom. We have Nick Backstrom, who is their captain. He's only an 82 overall, though. But holy Moses, this man had 68 points in 80 games. That's They have a really low-scoring team. How did they make it this far? Okay, John Carlson, he's a very good player. They have my boy Pavel Butchnevich, who is going to be, um, you know, a little bit focused. Wait, we played these motherfuckers last season, I think. Oh, I think we played these guys last season, and then I got hurt. I don't remember. I don't remember at all, honestly. But we played these guys, and I don't remember who came out on top. But Pavel Vishnevich playing his former team once again. Daniel Sprong, 84. Ivan Barbashev, 80. Really? 83 for Barbashev? I thought he was like 85. Is he old as dirt? He's not. I thought he was an 85. Okay, I was wrong. My boy, Yakov Rana. Good stuff. Dzingel. Coil, yeah, yeah, we faced this team last season. I know that for a fact. Horny is there. They have Thompson, Johansson. Yeah, this is pretty much the same team. I think McGinn is new. That's a pretty decent addition. Lawson Krause topped out at 80. Interesting. Very interesting. McCullough, 
not CJ McCollum, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. For Faravi, okay, 17. They have a very subpar team here. They must have some lit goaltending. Because other than John Carlson, I don't think they have anyone over 85. Nah, they don't. They, I mean, they have a few 84s, but that's that's like a that's like a below average top six as far as forwards go. Okay, so they, they must have a fire goaltender, really. Philip Gustafson and and Ilya Samsonov, who has an 888, and he's oh, okay, no, never mind. He has one game played so far. I thought that was a record for some reason. I thought he was 0 and 8. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was his last playoff stats, and I'm like, nah, he won. He won games. It's not a record, dummy. That's saves. The eight is saves. And the, the obviously, the zero is wins. So Sam Stonov, not playing great. He probably came in as a backup when Philip Gustafson got pulled. Who? Philip Gustafson, 936. I mean, that's how they made it by the first round, but I'm a little curious. I'm actually a little curious. If we go to the NHL stats... And we sort for goals for, right? Or goals for per game. Actually, you know what? It's it's uh, it's after 82 games. Like, everybody played 82 games. So we'll see where the Washington Capitals are at. We are first, first of all. Okay, we have the best offense in the league. And it's not even that close. It ain't even that close. We're almost 40 goals ahead of everybody else. That is what I like to see where... Are the Washington Capitals, though. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. They are 18th for offense. Damn. Okay, what about goals against? Let's go to lowest goals against. First of all, Jesus, the Avalanche. Oh, my God, they are so good. Whoa, they are such a good defensive team. Under 200 goals against? That's wild. Okay. Golly, where are the Capitals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Okay, so keeping a puck out of the net is the Capitals' ammo, which is un unfortunate. We're we're actually better than the Caps. There's no way. Uh, I guess I I I don't know. I don't know what happened. We're not that great of a defensive team, but here we are. Do I have it messed up? No, it's literally goals against the fewest goals against, and we are not. We're not that bad. We're in the top ten, so that's huge. Florida Panthers, though. I mean, I told y'all they play good defense. They were right there in the top five. So that was that. Was that. It's going to be interesting. Rangers versus Capitals. We have the better offense. I'd say they have the better defense, but statistically, we do as well. Like, we have the better defense too, but I don't know, man. I don't feel like that's accurate at all, at least while I'm out there, because obviously superstar gameplay just, just, just kills it. Just kills your defensive ability. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. We have home ice advantage once again, because I do believe we won the President's Trophy, so that's going to be huge. But I hope you enjoyed the video, man. If you did, please hook your boy up and post the like button to face, pen, hell out of it, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some predictions if you have any in the comment section, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Item out. Peace.